Hello, this is uh, Greg Deckler with uh, for Enterprise DNA, um, and today we're going to be talking about measure totals. So measure totals uh, is a has been a problem with uh, Power BI desktop for as long as Power BI has been around. Um, and so today I'm, we're going to take you through what med, what the measure total problem is, um, how to fix it, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to go through it. Um, so a little bit uh, about how I did some prep for this uh, this video and in these graphics here. Uh, the first thing I did was I went into DAX Studio and created a dump filters measure. And if you've never seen a dump filters measure, um, kind of looks a lot like this, right? It's really easy to generate these. And what the dump filters measure does is it it goes through and determines what filters um, are applied um, from the different tables and columns um, within the data model. It's really easy to generate within DAX Studio. You can launch DAX Studio, you right click any table and say define filter dump measures all tables, and it generates all the code for you. And all you have to do to get it into Power BI is take it from this var max filters and copy all of that code and then just paste it into a new measure, which is what I did. And so that's where this dump filters measure came from. Um, a couple of other things uh, that I did um, when is I also created a tooltip page where I just created a, blunt, a uh, card visualization and I put the dump filters uh, measure in that card visualization. So what that uh, allows us to do then is view the filters uh, within the table visualizations or the matrix visualizations. Um, and so to turn tooltips on, right? You can click on a visual on your matrix or your table. So I have a matrix here, a table here. They both demonstrate the same measure totals problem. Um, and what you can do, can do is you can go to general. You can just toggle on tooltips. If you want to, you can specify that it's a report page and that that in the specific report page that you want. Um, and so what that allows us to do then is if I hover over this 290, right, I can see that it has a filter on it of table category equals category one. If and this one is category two, here we have subcategory equals blue, green, and red. And this is all coming just from a, a very simple enter data query where I have six rows. Cat, you know, I have category one three times, red, green, and blue, category two, red, green, blue, and all the values are 100. All right, so the last step in all of that is to create a measure that's going to exhibit uh, the measure totals problem. And if you're looking closely, you can already see that the total is not correct, right? It Well, it's not correct in finger quotes. It's correct as far as DAX is concerned, but any normal human looking at this would be like, this is completely wrong and stupid. Um, in fact, I have to believe that this is probably a leading cause of why people uh, it, I think it's a huge barrier to entry to adoption of Power BI. There's the simple fact that measure totals are wrong out the gate um, and that the table visualizations and matrix visualizations don't actually, you know, exhibit correct behavior as far as what, what every typical person would consider correct behavior. Um, and I don't know why Microsoft's never fixed this, to be perfectly honest. They've had five, six years to fix it. Um, they never have. And it seems to me like it's a quick, simple fix. And I think it's a huge barrier to adoption because if I'm just a user for the first time coming at this and I whip up, you know, first one of the first things I'm probably going to do is load up some data and generate a quick table visualization and maybe have a measure and I add that measure in there and then the tools are wrong. I may be like this, this tool is a piece of junk um, and going, you know, basically give up on it. Uh, so I think there's a huge barrier to adoption um, personally. Um, and I think that maybe you know, the whole community's kind of gotten complacent around this. We're just like, oh yeah, measure total problem. Uh, you know, it's always been that way. You know, it's not acceptable for, off my soapbox. But all right, so measure total problem. Measures don't come out, the totals don't come out correct. And you can demonstrate this behavior very simple. I've got this table and here's my measure totals. And all I've done is I'm doing a quick sum X, right? Or sum either way. And I'm just subtracting 10. Um, and so this is a surrogate for like, you, you can consider this, you know, a, a surrogate for any reasonably complicated measure. And obviously, if you can exhibit the measure totals problem with something as simple as this, it's going to crop up in <laughs> in a lot of your measures, right? And so what's happening here, and a lot of people will say, well, the, and the reason is, is that 
is the context, right? The filter context for this totals row is different. Um, and so DAX is just executing within, and some people say, well, it's executing in the context of all. Well, not, not really, right? Um, it's not really in the context of all. It is, but it doesn't have, because if I click on like category one, for example, it's correct. Um, so it's obviously taking the filter context of the category equals category one, right? There it is. Um, so it's not that. It's just that it doesn't have this additional filter context of this category without external influence. So if I hover over here, see it's it's blank. There's nothing filtering this right now. Um, so these rows have a filter on the category being a specific category, but this one is not taking that into account at all. So how do you fix it, <laughs> you know? And, and that's with the matrix, right? And then this table, obviously I have blue, green, I'm doing subcategory and then my measure total is 190, 190, 190. And then 590, it's, uh, it's not right, right? It's not correct. So how do you fix it? Well, you can fix it pretty, and this is the subject of, uh, I have a quick measure gallery entry out there, which is um, uh, measure totals the final word. And it kind of goes through all of this, right? and shows you how to fix it, but uh, and, and it basically uses this technique. So what it does, it says, we just create a new measure, measure total, I called this one measure totals category, and it says, if is in scope table category, then just return my measure that is correct on a line by line item. Otherwise, what I'm doing is I'm gonna summarize that table by category, and then I'm going to calculate my measure for that line, for each line, and then I'm going to sum up the values, right? So it's just going to basically I'm recreating this table visualization right here in the summarize. Then I'm summing up the resulting values from that measure on those rows, and that fixes it, right? So now you can see my measure totals category. I've got 290, 290, 580. Now, this all well and good. It's a fairly easy fix. Um, but it's really damaging. This is really damaging to self-service visualization, in my opinion, because if you have any kind of reasonably complex measure and you're promoting self-service visualization back to your end users, then it's a good bet that they're, you know, you have no idea how they're going to uh, use that measure and, you know, how they're going to be uh, working with it. Um, so, for example, you can see the problem here. I've got the measure totals categories correct here, but it's incorrect here. It even returns the wrong line by line items as well as the wrong and, and it does get the right answer um, but that's pretty much by pure luck although as you can see it doesn't have so blue green subcategory 580 um it actually doesn't have the right answer never mind and th it's wrong from top to bottom uh and the reason is because category is never in scope <clears throat> so according to this if is in scope table category it's turned the measure totals well that's never the case um, so it's always doing a summarization by category um, and then summing the values, and which is completely wrong at a line item level, as well as the totals wrong. So again, so now you have to create a measure total subcategory measure, which if is in scope subcategory, return the line item, uh, the measure on that row. Otherwise, you sum up by subcategory and total the values. And that gives us the correct answer, 190, 190, 190, 570. So this is why it's so damaging to self-service visualization because um, you have no idea how the end users are going to be using that, um, you know, what they're going to be putting into a table. So you, you almost have to write a measure for like every possibility, every possible combination, which is crazy. Um, so it really damages self-service visualization. Measure totals are, are completely horrible in that regard. Um, and it's not like it's not a fixable problem, right? It's very easy. It, if I had access to the code, I could probably fix this, you know, in a weekend. Um, just write the matrix visualizations and the um, table visualizations to just return the correct number in in the totals row. Uh, it's it's insane to me that they haven't fixed this um, because it's absolutely fixable. And as proof, you know, the this is a, a summary table that I downloaded from the um, from the from the visuals gallery and uh, as you can see it, it returns the correct totals and i didn't have to do any crazy extra measures or anything the only thing that's in this is the measure the subcategory and the measure totals that's it um so it's it's absolutely a fixable problem um why it's never been fixed i don't know um but 
hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this video and listened to me rant <laughs> about measure totals. And hopefully you've learned how, you know, basically the how to fix them when you run into these kinds of problems. So see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.